at your We work. must plan for you to fight one last duel, my darling. This time for all of us. Once you find Corypheus, I suppose we must... wait. I'll be thinking of you every step past Skyhold. Flattering, but you have my permission to think of your battle. Please be sure to. I, I hope that you'll... Maker, I wish you didn't have to go. You mean the world to me, Josephine Montivier. Then return to me safely. <sighs> I must attend to some tasks before you draw out our enemy. Do go before I begin to cry. <laughs> A moment, my lord. Ugh, oh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry, nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? What a disaster. It was my bed is late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and... And it was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Dedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost, but for tonight... To victory. May I join you? I wanted to catch you. Uh, the celebrations appear to be winding down with the sunrise. I've never witnessed such a lovely sight. Nor I. Sometimes your words are so sweet, they ache. That's love. That's you. It's been good to have this celebration, free of what the future holds. Whatever awaits us, my lord, I know only one thing. I would never have you face it alone. Oh. Is everything all right? Yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. This seems serious. It's not about me. It's about you. Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Maybe I should sit. Inquisitor, I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. Oh, well, that's... So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what is in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. That's... a lovely sentiment, Cassandra. Marriage is much more than a lovely sentiment, Inquisitor. Marriage? 
Josephine is a wonderful woman. If you're clear on your path to... You're not proposing to anyone. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? He said I was going to propose? He mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. I might get married. I've thought about it. I suspected as much. Being Inquisitor has brought you good things. Many good things. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what happiness you can from those, and do not let them go. That is all I meant to say. Advice from a friend for the days to come. Darling, you made it. Excellent. I scheduled this appointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. I feel like I'm going to break something in here, or someone. You'll present the staff with a special challenge, darling. The experience will be good for them. What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. I hope all is well with you and Ambassador Montillier. Things are excellent. Thank you for asking. It's such a comfort to hear that at least one facet of your life hasn't fallen apart due to incompetence. You must be keeping very busy. Someone has to keep the mess that's been made of Thedas's institutions of magic from flying apart. Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know. It's so good to see you, darling. I've been fielding Orlesian diplomats all afternoon. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock. Idle chat with the Inquisitor. Of course not. <clears throat> not precisely. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Oh, very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orlais, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. Sometimes... 
I'm afraid I do not make enough time for you, my love. Please, come with me tonight. If it makes you happy, how can I refuse? Oh, wonderful. I was worried we wouldn't find the time. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! This was your idea of a restful evening? Oh, wasn't it lovely? It's been so long since I've gone to the opera. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? The performance pales in comparison to the lovely lady I saw it with. You are sidestepping the question. Love leaves my tongue tied. Well, in that case, I suppose allowances can be made. I do hope you recovered from your night at the opera. Any ear ringing should go away in a day or two. Hello, my love. I'm glad to see you safe after venturing into the crossroads. I do not have to tell you to be careful, my love, but... Tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians, are they safe to explore? We're taking every precaution we can, Josephine. I will take your word for it. And yet, you've accomplished so much in the calm of these past years. I wish you did not have to imperil yourself for us. Again. I won't take unnecessary risks. I have someone far too important to come back to. And she will be happy for your return. Be safe, my lord. Please. I will do what I can here. Once the Canary are dealt with, brace yourself. The Council is just as relentless. Your agents confirm there are Gatlock battles in Denerin's palace? Yes, and in Val Royaux and across the Free Marches. The Winter Palace is not the only target. The Canary are one order from destroying every noble house in the known world. There is a bright side. Warning the ambassadors will remind them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is responsible for that threat. This is our fault. Fault? No. But our responsibility. <sighs> How did it happen? The elven servant handling the barrels has disappeared. Notes in his quarters suggest he was a Canary spy. But the servant was Orlesian. That implicates Orle, not us. But the barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition Supply Manifest. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? Do you know who got the barrels on? Yes, several of the Inquisition's elven workers have gone missing. I remember when Kirkwall was at its worst. Many of the city's elves converted to the Kune, trying to find a better life. And the Canari turned them into spies. A few years ago, we railed at the mages at Redcliffe for becoming corrupt. We did the same to the Grey Wardens. <laughs> Look at us now. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies! You hid the Kunari body. You all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right. Not what was politically convenient. Do you know what this has cost us with Orle and Ferelden? They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. The Marcus... I thought it was fine. 
It's been under control for years. All the demons I fought, all the rifts I closed. I don't want to die. <sighs> Not knowing that the world still needed me. So I'm going to the Darvarad. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Leliana... I can... No. Your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Canari attack the palace. Make a watch over you. My agents have found nothing. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. With the Inquisition officially disbanded, we have no army, no formal alliances. We have what we truly need. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solas knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will stop Solas by any means necessary. Thank you. 